Hello everyone and this is going to be a simple tutorial on how to use crypto mats in the new cops. So I have a fairly simple scene here. I have Flippy. Uh, I've like animated two objects but they have a name attribute so there's like toy and ball so you get them out get them in as separate objects and then I have a circle and I'm importing a camera from my scene. Okay, so this is actually like the camera is here. So, and I have like three separate materials assigned to this. Okay, so I have like ball, flippy and floor. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is uh, like, if you are importing a camera from scene level, the one thing you need to change is that in the Karma settings, come to the camera and pick up, you know, that particular camera. That is important because if the aspect ratio doesn't match here and there, you'll get like problems. Okay, now the next thing is we need to uh, add in crypto mats. So there are two ways to do this. Like one is if you come in Karma itself, uh, I'll just change this to XPU. Uh, you can come to image output and if you come all the way down, you'll have extra render variables. And you can click here and then from the name, you can actually pick up you know, like crypto mats. So you can pick up object crypto mat or material crypto mat. So you can do this or uh, you can actually just type in crypto mat and you'll get something called karma crypto mat and you can add that and that will automatically generate it for you. Okay, so we'll do for both. We'll do uh, material and primitive. And so if you hit render now, if I go to karma XPU, and you'll notice that uh, when you look at the AOVs, you have crypto material. So it doesn't show it immediately. You have to sort of like just move the viewport slightly and then it kind of shows it. And you can see the crypto primitives as well. Okay, and then if we want, let's say we can add like a few more AOVs just for fun. So I'm gonna come in here and let's say if we come to diffuse, we'll add like a combined diffuse and we'll add a combined reflection. And uh, it when you go into the slap comp, it generates a depth value, but uh, you have to turn it on. Like, I don't know why it's generating a depth because it's not there, but you have to sort of turn it on. Okay, so we'll turn that on. And uh, yeah, I think like just for fun. So if you if you look here, so you have like, this is your combined diffuse and you have your combined glossy. And then the depth will just show up like this, but now it's it exists. Okay, so we've done this. And now if you want to check this, what we can do is, uh, I'm just going to come to, okay, we'll, we'll add a new copnet and I'm going to lock this. So let's jump in here and we'll generate a slap comp. And if we just say uh, add AOVs, you will get like everything that has been, that you've added. So we get our uh, combined diffuse, we get the combined glossiness and the crypto mat. If you want to see it, let's come to the composite view and we'll be able to see it here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so this is like everything that we have. Can I zoom out a bit? Yeah, okay and we can just drag this in. So there you go. So this is the diffuse that is the, you know, glossy and then we have the crypto map. So what happens is it generates like a whole bunch of things. So it generates like an RGB layer for the crypto material and the crypto primitive. And then it generates like these RGBA stuff, which is like material 00 and primitive 00 and like 0102. Only one of these is actually needed. Like for the materials you need one of them and for the primitives you need one of them and the way it works is uh, just type in crypto and you'll get something called crypto mat and take the material 00 or the primitive 00 and plug this in over here now you won't see anything right now but if you click on select all it will select everything okay which means stuff exists in there now the problem was like what do you type in here to select individual objects okay or individual materials that you have and i posted it on, on twitter so i got help from like joe old school actually his wife suggested that uh, take the name from the solaris scene graph tree okay so if i come in here and i pick up ball and i drop it in there and there you go it selects ball or if i uh, type in toy then you will get toy. So that is how this thing works. Okay, so we can actually like, it's not rendering right now because it's, it's rendering there. But there you go. So now if I come in here and let's say if 
Let's say if I come back to scene view and I'll just turn on uh, the slab comp and I'll come in here. And let's say if I just pick up uh, HSV adjust just for fun, let's see if this is working. Yeah, just pick up like it has two of these. So we need to be in like copnet two. So let's go to copnet two and let's see if this works because like I have two cops in there. Yeah, okay, it's working. So now I only wanted to affect Flippy, so I can just take the mask and plug it in there and there you go. So now you're just affecting Flippy. So it's pretty much, you know, that simple. Now, uh, if you render it out as footage, it will be the same process. So if I just show you, like if I come into file and I had rendered something, so I'll just load that up. So I'll just come back to composite view and I have some footage that I had rendered. Okay, which is the same thing. And if you come in here and if you say uh, add AOVs from file, it will generate, you know, all of this. And uh, the process is the same. You need to like, if I come into CryptoMat and I plug in like zero, zero in there. And if you click select all, see, so that works. And then if I just take in toy and drop that in there. Uh, yeah, I think it was, yeah, it, my mistake this was rendered previously so i don't remember what i had called it <laughs> yeah this that, that's the problem right so i still haven't figured that out like there will be names in there but if you change your scene you might have to re-render because i don't remember what the name was like let, let's try something let's just do flippy star nope that doesn't work okay flippy does flippy work no okay it needs the actual name uh, let's try to drop in circle Yeah, circle work. So we can take this and let's try to do an invert. So that might work. I don't know. Let's see if invert works. Yeah, invert sort of works. Anyway, anyways, I can't remember the name of the object. That's the problem, right? So you need to know the exact names that you had given over here for it to work. But the process is the same. Okay, like you don't have to do anything. Uh, one more thing, which is uh, I got a small tip from uh, where is it? Yeah, so Falcon Saavedra gave me a tip, which is uh, uh, the EXR import is very slow. You know, like even if you, I'll clear everything and I'll just import uh, C, which is the beauty pass. Okay, and if I press play, you'll see like how slow it gets. Now, what he suggested was that instead of say, if you are going to do uh, compositing work or if you're going to use it in COPS, then instead of an EXR, you save it as a .rat file. Okay, and if you save it as a .rat, and if I press play, you'll see like, this is running in real time. Of course, the problem is the more AOVs you add, the slower it gets. So if I just say add AOV files, and it, it adds in everything, and you'll notice that now the playback sort of, it's still fast enough, it's not as slow as what it was, but, uh, yeah, it will slow down the more AOVs you have. Since this footage is the one that that is new, I can just connect this in. And yeah, so if I just get rid of this and I bring in like ball. Yeah, there you go. So so that stuff still works, you know, so I can't. Uh, I don't know if I can do two of these. Yeah, you can do a comma and then it selects both. Okay, so just do just separate it with a comma and then you can add and it'll select everything. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So this is how. Oh, yeah. Okay. I forgot about this part. If you try to delete the CryptoMat node, it gives you a crash. Okay, like this is like a hard crash. I've sort of noticed it every single time. I should send it to side effects as a bug report, uh, which I haven't. But uh, yeah, if you try to delete the CryptoMat node, it is going to crash Houdini. Anyways, I'm not going to restart it, <laughs> but uh, that's pretty much it. So this is the end of the tutorial. So uh, yeah, uh, I hope this helps out and bye.